Hey lovely guys, my name is Anike and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be looking at cutoff points for EG students 2025-2026. So in my one word cutoff points, I before we continue, I'd like to kindly admonish you to kindly like, subscribe and share the I mean the video to other people so that they can also be blessed and benefit from the channel. So cut up actually the minimum required grade for you to enter any course in the investor. So cut offs are usually taken from last year. So for example, the cut off for medicine could be seven this year. That means that last year the minimum required grade for you to enter medicine is seven. But note that cut off is not always fixed for the program course. Sometimes they give allowances for fee paying students, and sometimes for the number of students that might apply to the, that particular course in the university, the cutoffs might come down or go up. But then the cutoffs gives you a fair idea of your chance or probability of getting to the course. For example, if you had a grade 12 and want to get medicine, the probability you get into medicine will be very low because the deviation between 7 and 12 is very wide. But then, for example, if you had an um, grade 13, for and you wanted to apply for a course like physiotherapy and physiotherapy was 12 last year there's a probability that it, that particular year you apply maybe the cutoff might come down that you can be able to consider for that particular course so stay tuned as i bring to you the various cutoff points for UG. thank you all right you're welcome so let's start so before we start, I would like you to know a very important information that I would like you to take note of. So, as the application deadline for the University of Ghana approaches an end on Friday, January 3rd at 11.59, I would like to admonish you to finalize your application promptly. Ensure that all your personal information, such as your full name, your date of birth, your index number, examination mark, and year is accurate and complete. Please be aware that the West African Examination Council has released provisional, provisional results. This means that if any of your subjects are marked as withheld or pending, they may be updated following further investigations. WIAC has released the final results for these cases after admission to human universities have closed. So that is when WIAC will release those examinations. Additionally, I want you to be very cautious of fraudulent Offers promising admission through protocol arrangement. If you do not meet the required cutoff point for your desired course, please. Such call offers are scams. Do not send money to anyone claiming to secure admission to you through this means. Stay informed and follow reliable news sources such as this. So let's quickly um get to the cutoff, starting with College of Humanities. So the first we have on our list is BSc Laws and the aggregate is aggregate six, BSc Laws. Okay. The next is BSc Administration Legon Campus is aggregate 07. BSc Administration Legon Campus full fee paying is 14. BSc Administration City Campus is 14. Bachelor of Arts, General Arts background is 15 for males and 16 for females. Bachelor of Arts, full fee paying is 22. Bachelor of Sports and Physical Culture. Bachelor of Sports and Physical Culture is 24. Bachelor of Information Technology, Distance Education is 24. Bachelor of Science Administration, Distance Education is 30. And Bachelor of Art Distance Education is 30. Bachelor of Administration Kumasi City Campus is 24. Bachelor of Science Administration Takwadi City Campus is 24. Note that the BSc Administration in Kumasi City Campus, BSc Administration Takwadi City Campus are all under University of Ghana. Bachelor of Art Administration is 10. Bachelor of Art Administration full fee paying is 18. Let's go to cut off points for College of Education. BSc Education is 24, Bachelor of Arts Education is 21, Bachelor of Arts Education, GHS Specialism is 24, Bachelor of Education, Early Grade Specialism is 24, Bachelor of Education, Upper Grade Specialism is 24, Bachelor of Arts Education, English is 20. Let's go to cutoff points for College of Basic and Applied Sciences. So let me explain this table. So 
in this table, we have four columns. We have the course as first choice, as second choice, and requirement. So know that, you know, it's the University of Ghana is one of the most competitive universities, especially if you are going as a fresher or if you want to, if you are going as a fresher, as in you are applying for a course in the University of Ghana, it's very competitive. So a course like Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, if you are taking it as your first choice and you have 16 or 18, it is fine. But then if you want to take it as your second choice and we had below 8 or 9, it's going to be questionable because after last year, the minimum required grade for you to enter BSc Biological Science as for you to choose it as your second choice and for you to get it, BSc, and BSc Biological Science was 8 or 9 as at last year. So let's say you have a grade of 10. It's possible that um, the, the cutoff can go lower based on the number of people that choose the course. But then if you have something like 15 and you want to choose it as your second choice, please advise yourself because as of last year, the minimum required grade for Bachelor of Science, Biological Science, which I'm offering right now, I'm actually in the food nutrition department, is 8 or 9 as your second choice. So maybe if you had 15, it's better you take it as your first choice. Okay. And the requirement is C6 in chemistry. So if you had straight A's and had D7 in chemistry, please advise yourself. It's questionable. Bachelor of Science Agriculture is 24 and the requirement is C6 in chemistry. Bachelor of Science Earth Science is 24 and as a second choice, at least you should get not less than 12 or 12 for males and 14 for females. C6 in chemistry and C6 in physics as well. Bachelor of Science in Agriculture and Engineering is 22 as your first choice. And the requirement is B3 in electric mass. Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering is 10 for males, 11 for females, B3 in electric mass. Bachelor of Science Computer Engineering, 8 for males, 10 for females, B3 in electric mass. So you could see that the trend is at least B3 in electric mass for engineering course because of the nature of the course, which is more of calculations. So at least your foundation in elective math should be strong so that you can sail through the course successfully without less hurdles. Then Bachelor of Science Food Processing is 18 as a first choice, 13 as a second choice. The requirement is B3 in elective maths. Bachelor of Science, Material Science and Engineering is 18 as a first choice, 19 as, as a first choice for females, 18 as your first choice for males, 13 as your second choice, B3 in elective maths, Bachelor of Science, Family and Child Studies is 16, and at least C6 in Management and Living. So let's say if you want to do um, BSc, Family and Child Studies, and you didn't do Management and Living, yeah, please, you cannot um, qualify the, for the course because the requirement is C6 in Management and Living, unless maybe you took it as a non tech additional course. So let's continue. BSc Information Technology is 9 as your first choice, 11 as your second choice, B2 in the core math. So I had um, some questions in my inbox that are, uh, if let's say they didn't do elective math, you can do information technology. Yes, please, you can do information technology, but note that the cutoff is B2 in core math. Okay, so BSc Material Science and Engineering is 4 for males, 15 for females, and as a second choice is aggregate 7 and B3 in elective mass. Bachelor of Science, Physical Sciences is 24 as a first choice, 21 for males, 24 as a, for females as a second choice, and C6 in Chemistry, C6 in Physics. Doctor of Veterinary Medicine is 14. And Bachelor of Science in Psychology is 22. At my time, that was 2022. Um, physical, um, Bachelor of Science in Psychology was part of Biological Science. So when you, are, when you were applying, you didn't see Bachelor of Science in Psychology as a course that stands on its own. It was under Biological Science. But then as time evolved, it's now a department on its own. So let's go to College of Health Sciences. Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery is seven as your first choice. And you already know the other requirement an entrance exams, and an interview. Doctor of Pharmacy, eight as your first choice, seven as your second choice. So please ignore this, okay? Um, this is not a requirement, it's an error. Then Bachelor of Science, Nursing, is eight as your first choice. Eight as your first choice, that's for males. 
that's so for eight as a first choice for non science background and twelve for science background. Okay. Bachelor of Dental Surgery is nine as your first choice. Bachelor of Science Medical Laboratory Science is eleven as your first choice. Ten as your second choice. Bachelor of Science Physiotherapy fourteen as your first choice. Thirteen as your second choice. I hope this video has been um, useful to you. I like to show you the fact that these the cutoffs are not permanent. Okay, this gives you a fair idea of your the chance of you getting the course that you applied for. I'd also like to admonish you that the application deadline for University of Ghana is on Friday, the third of January at nine p.m. And it's prudent for you to finalize your application for me. Sure that your information, such as your full name, date of birth, index number, is a nation month, and year is accurate and complete. I'll also admonish you that be aware, aware that the West African Examination Council has released the provisional result. That means that if any of your subjects are marked as a health or pending, they may update it further after further investigations. Okay. So, additionally, be cautious of fortnight offers promising admission through protocol arrangement if you not meet the required cutoff for your desired courses. I also admonish you, no, this is not really, I didn't really plan to talk about it, but let's say if you had um, some course, if you had, if, if, you, if you had D in some courses and you want to apply for Legon, I admonish you that don't only put all your eggs in one basket, please look at other universities as well although you should stay optimistic but try your possible best to look at um, um multiple applications okay we try and look look at multiple applications okay so that even if you are not able to get into one course you can also get into the other course also know that if you have applied to study Doctor of Veterinary Medicine or BS Information Technology at the University of Ghana. Note that these courses only admit first choice applicants. Okay, so you can't take Doctor of Veterinary Medicine or BS Information Technology as a second choice. Okay, so second and third choices are not admitted. Okay. All right. Stay safe. And before I meet the next video, it's a bye-bye for Adi K Productions. Thank you. See ya.